According to the residents in the area, the communities along that stretch are endowed with cash crops such as cashew, cassava, yam, among others, which can potentially propel the area's development, but the poor road network is a disincentive to development partners. Market women and inhabitants of these communities are the hardest hit by this situation since vehicles conveying their goods refuse to go to the farms due to the bad road. A farmer, Mr. Ishak Watara, told GBC News that commercial vehicles simply declined to come to communities in the area, thereby impacting negatively on their local economy. <laughs> Oh, Nunia, the coin with the Oman Yamaya, there are a few with the politics by the no Kurumafa. Madame Susanna Assan, who told GBC News she is in the cassava business, expressed worry over the situation. A baby, a bass, a coin with you, she said, You are Munya Kura, the Akutin Shradi, or Munya. The bridge you walk on the swimming now, say. If he has, sir, a baby, I will bet my boy and dear. Mr. Yao Ado was equally worried over the bad road network in the area. A unit committee member in the area, Mr. Stephen A.J., said communities such as Botenso, Banda, Wenchi, and Subinso are always cut off from Anima in the rainy season. Ya masku sem ya di ya gume na ye kwa ya senti ya nti ma ya makuran kusku ya bas represent when contacted the district chief executive for Kintampo South Mr Opokunyame said all the deplorable roads in the district will soon be fixed for the data on all our roads though that needs rehabilitation the critical ones we submitted everything to feeder roads so we are waiting that uh, we get approval for its uh, construction. So we are seriously working on it. It was observed that the bad road network has also affected quality healthcare delivery in the area. For GBC News, Samuel Ayama, Enyima.